Okay, this is a piece of painting done over recycled paper. Yes. So on the recycled paper, and it has uh, scribbling, scrabbling. So I covered it up, and uh, even I covered it up. Still, there are some colors not showing that well. So it was actually it was uh, a little bit dirty. These parts is quite dirty on on that. So I was thinking only only the background first. It uh, does not have enough labor, and uh, I did a piece of uh, scribbling five minutes, and then I call it a a painting. Then it is quite a cheating. <laughs> Who can do a piece of painting in three minutes, five minutes? That's cheating, right? And uh, even if that is not cheating, I'm not having enough fun yet. So I will not be done with that piece of paper. <laughs> so I decided to add up something. Uh, the first or top priority is to cover up the dirtiness. The, the the scribbling on the background still shown up, right? To cover up. How do I cover up with such a background? There is really not... Uh, there are many, many choices. But I think a good choice or a thing that, uh, that tickles my mind is a sunset or, or wanxia, sunset cloud and uh, sun cloud something like this. so i use white and this white is not pure white no blue <laughs> it's just uh, the color we had the painting class and the uh, student had some color i i do not want to throw away the color in the sink every time washing washing the 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 color in the sink, the sink becomes so muddy and I do not like it. So now I do not throw any more color. Mostly I put it on the paper or something just to have my last fun. <laughs> anyway, so this is white, a little bit yellow, a little bit of pink, a little bit of orange, a little bit of uh, purple, something mixed up together. So I made this cloud. Make one cloud and then another cloud layer after layer. So this is the cloud story by itself. And this one is using tempera, so it's very matte. It does not have that shining color and shining feeling. That is it. And this one, the background here, the metallic green is tempera. And uh, it's uh, acrylic, so I used metallic acrylic and, uh, and uh, tempera yellow to, to cover up. And then it becomes a piece of painting, still a little bit dirty and not much story on top of it. So. I was using the fan brush, doing this fan brush, then jiggle, 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 jiggle with yellow, and doing some brush stroke, and then, then become white, yellow on the green background. But still, it's not, um, it's not uh, that um, mm, that much contrast. You need something to to shine out, to speak out, to stand out, right? That's painting to make the painting fresh, sharp, and interesting. So I put some pink and then some white on top of the pink. This one is, uh, is abstract, if I dare to use the name abstract. This one does not have uh, any real image or real imagination in my in my mind, I just uh, splash some color on it. It's really, uh, it's really the 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 the, the mess around of color. <laughs> it's not uh, much complicated. Okay. And this one, 
this one is the background uh, still the background some cover up some not cover up so some pretty some not pretty so I was thinking maybe I should cover up this part of not so pretty so I put you can actually see those paintings on on my blog before this painting as a background and uh, it is good by itself as a background but I just don't feel that uh, I have used enough of uh, this resource, I have to have more fun, more <laughs> more things to do before I, I I call it an end. So I do did these leaves. Leaves started with dark green, very dark green, and then I thought dark green might be too dark. And this this painting, although there is white color, but there is no bright, shiny, and uh, and really bright color. Yellow is a very bright color, so I mix yellow with green. It is bright, but still it's very subtle, it's very humble, it's not too loud as a, a big red or big uh, yellow or big white. So it's quite a humble color anyway. And then I dot uh, five drops of flower, ding, 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 one, two, three, four, five, several of these five petal flowers. Then I was thinking, what is this five petal flower? It does not look that uh, realistic or does not feel, feel right. I need to put some more flowers. So I put like um, lavender, yes. The, 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 the idea comes out of lavender with long heads of flowers, then all this purple color. And then all this purple color is very dark, nothing stands out. Then I see there are still some white color on the palette, so I put some white here and there. It's uh, not realistic, it's... Uh, not uh, not really creative or imaginative. It's just uh, um, an improvised use of color. <laughs> just uh, have some fun. Do not take it too serious, right? Okay, the story of painting themselves. I hope you like it. Mm. Or it doesn't matter if you do not like it. Right? It's just a piece of paper. Not a big deal.